So today I will show you how we can do a bounce effect, right? So for that, we will first add a background, right? To have, yeah, I mean background is needed, right? Then I will add a another background for the for the base for the floor, right? I will add a rectangle to it, which will act like a floor, right? I will change the color of the background as white, and this one is black, okay? And then I will add the bot, right? So for the bot, I will add a ellipse. And uh, no, I will add a background and ellipse, okay? So I have that ball shape, I will decrease it to my, like maybe like this, and then I'll add it. And for the color of it, I will make it maybe gradient, right? To have a, have a contrast to it compared to the background and the flow, right? So like this maybe, this is perfect. Maybe we make it, make the color to green, really good, not that bad. All right, now for the animation, okay? So for the animation, we'll add a transform, or you can actually do, uh, from here too, okay. You from you can from also center. You can do it. That's all up to you. So for the center, first you have to add a modify with then X Y path, okay, and come here and then uncheck the keyframe, yeah. And what do you want to move? Right now we want to move the Y value, which is a, which is, this one, right. But you know, uh, if you move here, it will fluctuate with the gradient right so we don't want to move the circle right we want to move uh, from the center so that it doesn't affect the gradient right so it is the same thing okay we will add a modify with xy path go to uh, first we'll uncheck the keyframes again okay? then go to y and then add anim curves okay anim curves you get it then in anim curves you see the linear curve change it to easing yeah and in in and out, make the in out as a bounce. Okay, so now you see uh, if you play it, it's having this bounce effect. But one thing is that it's happening right now is going up and also very slow and out of the rectangle. Right. So let's fix that first. Increase the uh, increase the uh, speed of the bounce will increase the time scale. Make it to maybe four. Now you see we're having very fast animation, right? This is good. We want it. Another thing that is, it's like this, up upward. So we will invert it. So when we invert it, it is just going down. Another thing happening right now that is, uh, it's very fast. And very fast means it's like, it's slowing down pretty fast. And also we don't want it to be at the end. We want it to be on the black floor. What you do is offset. Okay, you see the offset? We'll play with the offset because the offset controls the controls the rectangle position. Okay. And right now it's having a like this, but we'll increase a little bit more. Maybe here. So now you see. Yeah, it's on the ground. Okay, floor ground. Yeah, but we want this to move in this side like any one of the sides right so for that we will come back to the xy part and also animate the x position right so for the x we will come again and then anim curves and maybe make it to easing okay and make it to bounce also yeah and now you see we're having this animation right which is pretty good right like it's very good we're having a default bounce without even doing any keyframe right so it's a default one now it's very smooth and like just perfect bounce effect right so that's how you do a bounce effect in davinci resolve yeah for more expressions comment me so i can make more expression uh, like a long deep long long con no what is it long video on expressions yeah so comment me down and i want 10 likes and i will make a one hour expression tutorial yeah.